What is up, you guys? It's your boy Tony Russell, aka Hoodie Rush, you know what I'm saying? And today we are reacting to the Steelers versus the Bingo. So if you're down with that, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn the post off, catch Queen like, hit that name strong, comment, share if that rain, you know, let's get right into it. So these Steelers have lost their last two games, and that has have made them 11 and 2. They have lost their undefeated. Um, streak a couple weeks ago against the Washington football team, which I did not expect, and then um, against the um, Buffalo Bills, which I, which is when I expected them to lose their undefeated streak. But now they are playing the Bengals, and they hope to bounce back from those last two losses. Okay, and um, you know they were undefeated, and you know people were overhyping them a little bit just because you know they were undefeated, and the Steelers are a talented team, but. To me, it was like they haven't they they hadn't played anybody, and that's why when they played when they were going to play the Bills, I was like they're gonna lose to the Bills because the Bills they're playing some football, okay? They're playing some teams to um this year, okay? But um you know now they play the Bengals and you know um I'm a star to his side. We gonna get straight into his video, baby. Um link in the description down below. Let's get it, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Third possession. First and ten for, for the Steelers, Steelers. and but and Ben Roethlisberger fumbled the ball, and the Bengals recover it. Ben Roethlisberger fumbled the snap, and the Bengals recover it. Ben Roethlisberger has nothing to say. He's just like, and Ryan Finley dropping back. You know they lost Joe Burrow a couple weeks ago. T Higgins with the first down. Excuse me, third and goal. Ryan Finley trying to escape the sack but could not. T.J. Watt, potential defense player of the year back there, baby. Ryan Finley on first and ten. Ryan Finley going deep down the field. Going deep down the field for A.J. Green with the catch. Third and five now. Ryan Finley faking the faking the screen. Did not work, though. Did not work. A 55-yarder. A 55-yarder is way right. Way right. You know, they've been having some kicker struggles this year. You know what I'm saying? But third and seven. And wow, Juju Smith-Schuster gets rocked. And Von Bell. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Von Bell rocks Juju Smith-Schuster. And T. Higgins. I believe they... Did they call that a fumble? I'm not sure if they caught that fumble or not. But third and five um, for Ryan Finley. Ryan Finley. A nice pass to T. Higgins again for the first down. First and goal. Ryan Finley giving it to Giovanni Bernard, and Giovanni Bernard is in for the touchdown, and the Bingo strike again, 10 to, 10 to 0, and Benny Snell on third and one, did not get it, and on fourth and one, a fourth and a barely one, and Benny Snell looks like he got it that time, looks like he, yeah, he got it that time, um, third and 14 now, Ben Roethlisberger throws an interception, yes sir, Yes, sir. And he's celebrating. He is celebrating while he's um, returning the interception. I know I did not see the number, so I don't know who that was. But Jill Bonnie Bernard for the first down. You know, Joe Mixon is hurt right now as well. Second and nine, Ryan Finley. Ryan Finley. Yes, sir. To Jill Bonnie Bernard again. And Jill Bonnie Bernard is it for another score. And it's 17 to zero. Okay, 17 to zero. But you know that's nothing because we saw. The Falcons, they were up 17-0 this week, too, against the Buccaneers. And Buccaneers came back and won that. So, it's first and 10 for Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger gets sacked, and he fumbles. Ben Roethlisberger, quick slant to Chase Claypool. And Chase Claypool, Chase Claypool, he's leaving. Chase Claypool almost returns the screen, but not quite. 0-17 to still, first and 10. Ben Roethlisberger going deep down the field. And Deontay Johnson with the catch and the touchdown. Ryan Finley on third and seven going deep. Ryan Finley. Oh, and T. Higgins almost had a nice catch. Ben Roethlisberger. To Deontay Johnson. Oh, Deontay Johnson trying to make a couple moves. Did not get enough for the first down, though. I got an ad. Okay, okay. What is it? 7 to 17. Um, Steelers trying to score again. Second and two. Benny Snell, Benny Snell has space, has space, Benny Snell on second and two, yes sir, second and six now, second and six, Benny Snell again going to the outside, going to the outside, Benny Snell's killing now, he is killing, third and goal, third and goal, Ben Roethlisberger, Ben Roethlisberger, 
Oh, gets it away, and what a catch. I don't know who caught it, but Chris Bosch. Chris Boswell with the um, field goal, 25-yarder, easy, 10 to, 10 to 17. So the Steelers are right back in this game. So And like I said, 17-0 made nothing. Ryan Finley on first and 10 got sacked. Third and one for the Steelers, giving it to Benny Snell, and Benny Snell gets stuffed. Gets stuffed, second and five for the Bengals. Giovanni Bernard, Giovanni Bernard already has two touchdowns on the day. Gets the first down there, first and 10. Ryan Finley pump faking, trying to get out the pocket, gets out the pocket. Oh, and makes the pass to A.J. Green for the first down. What a play by Ryan Finley. Giovanni Bernard on first and five. Giovanni Bernard gets about eight on the first down. Third and five. Ryan Finley. Ryan Finley QB draw. Yes, sir. And, and gets it on third and five. Gets the first down. Second and two. Oh, Ryan Finley kept it. Ryan Finley kept it. He's in for the end zone. We saw it keep him earlier that drive, and that time he keeps in and goes into the end zone to make it 24 to 10. And it's now the fourth quarter, and Juju Smith Schuster on third and six gets the first down. Second and six. Second and six. Benny Snell. Benny Snell. Oh, yes, sir. He's running through people. He's looking to run over people, baby. Third and four. Ben Rollisberger going to chase Claypool for the first down. If they score here, it's a game again. Benny Snell gets stuffed. Gets stuffed on third and one. So fourth and four. This may be the game. Maybe. 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 Oh, and they're going to call, um, what's it called? They're going to call pass interference. And it was. It was. First and goal now. 534 left. And Benny Snell is into the end zone. 17 to 24. So now it's a game. Third and one. And Ryan Finley tries to sneak it. They're giving him the first down. Bengals are trying to run down this clock. Third and three. Ryan Finley. Ryan Finley did not get there. So now set two minutes left for Ben Roethlisberger on third and ten. Ben Roethlisberger looking to go deep down the field. Looking to go deep down the field. And Chase Claypool. Oh, they could have caught a flag there, I believe. They could have. They could have been on fourth and ten. And that's... Is incomplete. Need a yard for the ball game. That is incomplete. And third and one. Did not get it. But I believe that's the game. No timeouts left. 33 yarder. And it's right down the middle. So that is the game. And the Bengals are now 3, 10, and 1. Okay? The Bengals are now 3, 10, and 1. And the Steelers are 11 and 3. And they are now have lost three straight. And so the somebody somebody commented in my um comments the um about a couple weeks ago was talking about the um the Browns could very much win the AFC North and you know with what the Steelers are doing now they very much could they very much could. The Browns could steal the AFC North, okay? And, um, you know, let me look at the standings. Um, no, the because the Steelers beat the Ravens twice. So, they are locked into the playoffs. The Bengals are hope or the Ravens are hoping that the Steelers pick it up, okay? And they're hoping that they go ahead and beat those Browns because if the Browns lose, um, they're not, they could very much be out the playoffs. So, it's a race. In the AFC North, okay? Uh, these last two games could very much decide um, whether Cleveland gets into the playoffs or wins the division, okay? you So, you know, keep an eye out on the AFC North. Pittsburgh taking their third straight loss. And like I've been saying, real, they haven't played anybody this season. And the Bengals, I have, how do you lose to the Bengals? You know, the Steelers have talent. And, you know, they're a talented team. They deserve to be in the playoffs. But how do you lose to the Bengals, okay? Um... And to me, it's just that offense. The offense is not good enough. It's not good enough at all. Um, that defense is really good, but that offense is not strong enough to be to beat any contender, okay? So, um, you know, once they get into the playoffs, you know, they were really hoping for that first-round bye, but now that they're not going to get it, they're going to play um, a pretty good team because all of these teams that are going in the AFC are really good and can really upset any of these top teams. Um, all these teams in the wild card can. So, um, you know, the Steelers, they're looking at a wild card game and could very much be out of the playoffs in the wild card, all right? And, um, you know, but, you know, a good win for the Bengals. They are now 3-10-1. and 
um, you know, lost Joe Burrow earlier in the season. Um, they weren't gonna, they weren't gonna, you know, make any noise anyway with Joe Burrow. But um, you know, they they they're they're tanking this season. Um, looking to improve that offensive line, improve that defense a little in the off season. But like I said, good win for them. Uh, Bomb Bell. Uh, didn't nobody is taking a liking to what Juju is doing before the game, dancing on the logos, okay? And Von Bell had something to say, um, say about it before the game, and he has say has something to say to about it during the game too, baby. With that big hit on Juju, and Juju came out today and was like, he's done dancing on logos. Mike Tomlin talked to him earlier today, and Juju is now done dancing on logos before the game. And you know that when when you go on three straight losses. You know what I'm saying? This is when you tell you can tell what really good teams are. You know, do they collapse or are they going to stay in it? So, you know, we're going to see. But, um, you know, as far as this video, video goes, man, that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure you <laughs> smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn up, post notifications, okay, and keep that name strong. Comment, share, right there, right now. I'll see you for an hour. So, peace. Mad tie from skis or around knee her. I need Benz, Bentley's, and Beamer. If you could take my bitch, keep her. It's hoodie season, I'm the Reaper.